Hello YouTubers, I am here to show you, or attempt to show you, a little bit of how to grow underneath the Oregon Recreation Laws, the new Oregon Recreation Laws, basically saying that you can grow up to four plants and you can have, and that's per household, and then you can also have eight ounces per house and one ounce with you. So I YouTube searched tent grows, couldn't find a lot that were pertaining to me, so I'm a guy that wants to just grow one plant. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of a list of uh, what stuff I'm using, and uh, use it if you want, use it if you don't, just here to help. So the tent itself is made by a company called Secret Jardin, starts with a J, and it is the L90. It's a good little tent, it's, uh, it's only three feet long and two feet deep and four foot in height. It's got two rooms. One room for veg, which I will be shooting a little video about a little bit later. And then one room uh, for, you know, flower. This is the flower room that we're in right now. Uh, I'm gonna jump over into the clone room, I'll call it, or the bedroom. So this little guy is only about, you know, He's probably a foot by, yeah, it's a foot by two foot. So there's the top half. This is where I'll have the uh, the clones, and then bottom down there. That's just going to be my storage. If clones get big, I can pop this shelf out and still have plenty of room. I'm just running a 90 watt LED um, from Captive Growth for the clones. Uh, they seem to root really fast, so uh, I like LEDs, and I'm trying to save on save on power, not make a monthly payment to the power company for my lights. That is. All right, so that's the tent. Um, once again, Oregon here. So I am using a company by the name of Raggy Baggy. i trying to get in and zoom in on that, can't really. Um, I'll put a link once I figure out how to, but you can go to raggybaggy.com. Uh, these are very similar to Smart Pot, I think is what they're called, but they're made locally and uh, really good guy. Uh, he's old school, so you're going to have to either email him or call him, but he does deliver. And, uh, you know, makes them with handles, without. This is a uh, five gallon pot. And then I got the little, just little drip tray down below. The plus to this is that all the water, excess water, drains out of the side. And it allows for air pruning of the roots, which hopefully makes a happier plant. So that's the pot, that's the tent, and the fan system that I'm running here is I chose to go with four inch ducting, excuse my ghetto, four inch ducting out of here, I will tell you, buy the six and go with the six inch inline fan. Uh, I will write a list, I think this can, I can't remember the name of this, but I have this here and then it's piped into another tent that I have that um, is got a scrub, has a scrubber in it, pardon me. So all the smell will be eliminated. And guys, that's something really to think about too. I mean, if you're doing this in a enclosed area, like in your garage or something where your neighbors can smell it, get the charcoal filter, man. It'll save your headache. I mean, you know, you're gonna be thinking, oh man, can my neighbors smell it? You get that, it'll help. Nutrients, I haven't started yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out the simplest way to do it because I'm trying to understand the plants. If there's a nitrogen deficiency or a calcium or magnesium problem, I want to be able to identify that. And I know from experience in other areas that if I put a bunch of different types of nutrients and supplements in on it, more than likely, I'm not going to figure out what the problem is and just going to cause more. So I may not have the highest yielding crop or the most stinky or whatever, but you know, it's important to me to, to make sure the plant's healthy because I'm not doing this to make money or, you know, be crazy with it. I want to have fun and see what kind of crazy pot I can grow, to be honest with you. And thank God we live in Oregon and I can do that. So now on to the lighting. I am running LEDs by a company named Captive Grow. Once again, they are, they are local as well. Um, any warranty issues that you have with LED, they take care of in town which is really nice to know that I can talk to somebody and they can actually tell me what happened if maybe I did it, I don't know. 
But at any rate, I don't expect any problems, but it's nice to know that if I got them, they'll be solved in town and in a timely fashion. And the sales rep also told me that if my light does something weird, uh, that they'll bring me a light right then and there to make sure my, my stuff stays good. They, they, they don't care if it's only one plant. You know, that's not important to them. What's important is getting people happy with the lights. So, LED is the way that I go. This is Captive Grow. Part number is CG60. Uh, so, I'll, it might blind you, but I'm going to show you the underside. Oh, cool, not too bad. So you can see the little hockey pucks there. For all you professionals that are critiquing me out here, I've got 180 watts of LED over one plant in a two foot by two foot by four foot growing area. And I have never grown from start to finish before. So I hope you guys take the, uh, take the ride with me.